Hey guys, welcome back to Ocarina of Time 3D. All right, so in the last episode, we got our first, or technically second medallion. So this time we are headed to Death Mountain, just like Sheikah said, so. All right, we made it back here to Goron City, which is where we were headed. Uh, Death Mountain's a little dangerous. All right, so when you look down here, there's gonna be a little guy here. Uh, we actually need to do something to him, but all right, we're gonna take this. We're gonna drop it right here. Yes, we got him. All right. How could you do this to me? You're Ganondorf's servant. Hear my name and tremble. I'm Link, here of the Gorons. Oh no, what's up, dude? What? Your name is Link also? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero, Link. My dad's Darunia, do you remember him? My dad, my dad named me after you because you're so brave. S such a cool name. I really like it. Link, you're a hero to us, Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph, sign it to my friend, Link of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. My dad, Darunia, went to the fire temple. A dragon's inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Boo hoo hoo hoo. You better try to calm him down. Maybe he'll, he will calm down if you talk to him. Let's talk to him about the dragons. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Vovogia living in the mountain. And the dragon was very scary and ate Gorons. Using a big hammer, the hero of the Gorons, boom, destroyed it like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad's a descendant of the hero. Boo hoo hoo. Uh, let's ask him about the Gorons. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. When my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them away. All of them eaten by Vavolgia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Vavolgia as a warning to those who might oppose him. Ganondorf's going to feed all of them to Vavolgia. My dad went to the fire temple by himself to try to save everyone. Please, Link. I'll give you this heat-resisting tunic. It's our first time in Death Mountain. We didn't even go into it as a kid, so we get the nice cutscene right here. Nice. It's something that grows over time. A true friendship, a feeling in the heart, because even it, it comes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into righteous power, and through it, you'll know which way to go. The song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Barolo of Fire. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite songs. RL, RL, RL. All right, let's do this. Fantastic song. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Link, I'll see you again. I would love to know what superpowers Sheik has because that's awesome. To start a fire right in front of us and then it disappears. And the bridge is still there. This is the fire temple. This temple here confused the crap out of me when I first played it because there are so many different things and ways you can go. It's very fantastic to watch. All right, we're gonna get a cutscene here. Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is Link. You've grown big since I last saw you. I wanna have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Gandorf is causing trouble with Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon, Vavogia. But on top of that, he's going to feed my people to this evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. 
If the fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go ahead and try to seal up the dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Link, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you. AI. All right, there we go. We can talk to him, but oh well. Later, dude. We don't got time for that. Small key, yes. Foot drop. On top of it, so yeah. All right, so we got a left and a right. So let's check and see. I don't remember which way is which. Okay, so we, can we go over there? Yeah, we can. All right, let's go back here. And we're gonna go left first. You can walk on lava, just not for very long. And I guess you can lose a heart because you're a giant turkey. These ones here drop. We'll get to that in a second. Let's come in here. Oh. Messing up my buttons again. Let's see. Yep. Now, it's not necessary to release all these guys, but a lot of them do have keys inside their cages. If you talk to them, they'll run out. But you don't have to. So back to the other side here. Play some more platforming, a la Zelda. Which is uh, actually kind of funny. All right, so this one you have to be a little careful with because uh, there's the fire keys as well. And these skull guys, which will destroy you. Um, as far as I know, do we need to hop up there or can we run over? I think we can run over. I'm remembering right. That's right, buddy. That's right. How do you like them apples? Huh? Force of habit. To be able to try and um, go to the pause menu to change the items. I don't remember if this one's a key or not. I think so, because I think we need two keys to progress forward. But uh, let's find out. Yep. And now we got two. Oh, yeah, yep, I remember why. <laughs> when I first played this, I went through this, that whole left side. I got everything over there. Um, and then proceeded to... And then proceeded to come in here, climb up this. All right, so when you do that, you can fly up here. Clearly, puzzling. But I got up here, and you need a key. So I did all that, went through the left side, didn't go through the right, didn't get the other key, and was stuck. And I was like, what the heck? Where where am I supposed to go? Where What am I supposed to do? Come to find out, you know, you have to go to the other side and do the other thing and not screw it up. Oh, these guys. These guys are hilariously funny, in my opinion. They're like little lava monsters, and they also drop magic. So if you use a lot of magic, they're very good for that. Many different ways people do this. Um, honestly, uh, what I do is I typically just, I'll pull this back here, hop on top of it, and I'll drop a bomb over there because we're trying to get up top there. And if you saw that switch over there, those who are keen die uh, saw the switch. Uh, oh, we can't grab a hold of these ones? That I find that hilarious that you can't grab a hold of these ones, but the ones literally a room and a half ago, you can. All right, so what I like to do is, um, cause we can just hop back up there, right? Yeah, we can. Is I go like this, drop the bomb, hop up here. Cause that's on a timer. And we made it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Uh, 
Oh, this room. Oh. This. We'll go around the right side and see if we can't do anything. Hey, look, a bombable wall. My question is, is this bombable wall the one we're supposed to? Uh, nope, that's just for a Skulltilla. Nugget. I wasted a bomb because we have one left. Ah, we can go in here. Nice. Uh, does this lead to a key? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It does. I do believe that's why I take, I go around the right side is, um, because I think we need this key in order to progress. I don't know why. Uh, these boulders rolling around just absolutely make me giggle because they like stop mid midway through so you can totally tell they're being like if we're talking about in universe stuff they're totally uh they're totally being controlled by magic at least that's what i tell myself now that we are half a heart down those things take a quarter of a heart but it's not anything too crazy in my opinion so and that right there guys is why we uh if you look down there, you can see some stuff. Don't fall down there. I've did it before. Just don't. There's a whole skip to this room that you could do. Um, <laughs> but luckily for us, there's a heart there, so we can recover that. It does go away, so like once it gets to the other side of the room, so if you do screw up, you can uh, come back. But we're going to come up top here. Uh, we can go back and see what that other key is. But I want to get everything here. So let's hop over here. Thank you, nerd. We have one bomb left. And I want to make sure we use it properly. So first things first, we're going to make sure we don't fall off. And don't screw this up. So we have to come all the way back here. Nice. I don't remember if that guy actually has anything. But we're going to go check and see regardless. Because we can progress forward. That didn't happen. Did not happen. Hey, editor didn't. I love how finicky the camera is in this game. Um, and from what I remember... See, look, he's gone. He's gone. And I don't remember. Is there anything he gives us? Alright, here we are again. I don't think there's anything he actually gives us. So, um... Let's go see. It might be a key, actually. So, it might be actually kind of apparent that we do. But we need to take care of this guy first. That should freeze him. Should be able to jump over. Oh, look at that. He's actually running away now. I was going to say, I I couldn't remember if these guys run away or not. But we're going to roll the jump. Actually gives you a little bit of extra oomph. So... Yep. Thought so. Thought so. Good, 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 good. Alright. Our last bomb. Let's... Yes! Let's drop down, Navi. Will you calm down, Navi? A double door open with... A third key. All right, so back in the fire room, we want to get to the other side. Same thing is going to happen. And another fire dude. Except this time, we're jumping up here. Or not. See, there we go. Wow. Wow. That was a lot harder than I thought it was. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Progress. We still have one key. All right, so how do we want to spin our one key? Let's completely explore this room. We need to be very careful. There's a bunch of fire, keys, and on top of that, you've got these walls here as well. See? So you got to navigate through all this. I'm trying to think, is there anything over there we need? I don't think so. So there's a keys right there. He's going to try to get us. Let's draw him over. Oh, please. We're just going to go around right. Is this where we came in at? No. What do we have here? I do believe this might be the map. Nope, compass. Okay. So I was headed in the right direction. Hi -yi -yi. Okay. Can't really do anything for you yet, buddy. Sorry. Actually, we can. Um, if I remember right, I do believe we just pull this out and... So my sp suspicions were correct. Um, but I just wanted to double check. But the more you know. One. Okay. Now this is timed. So. And they screw you up with. Uh. Oh, yeah. Bombs. Good, 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 good. If you uh, swipe at it, it'll drop on you. But I do believe we are heading into a boss room. This boss is actually pretty fun, in my opinion. The fires, and then then you're you're done for. I flash him here. Get out of the way, because he will explode your face. And then added to the three heartness of it, it just adds extra anxiety. But now I, you know, I don't think it's horrible. Oh, this room. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in my tuchus. So we're gonna be pressing this button here. And as you see, this is on a timer. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we basically got to traverse this whole chasm right here, not fall down in the pit, not fall down there, and get up to the treasure chest before this timer runs out. So we're going to hit it again, and we're going to do this. First try. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Now, you can hookshot it if you're good enough with the hookshot, but... Uh, Lord knows I am not, but we are going to hit A. And once you do that, it stops the timer and it's done. Thank the nine for that, let me tell you. It's the Megaton Hammer. The Megaton Hammer. I knock that down. Now you can just hop down uh, the pit and fall down, but we're going to go this way. Read the room, Fuzzy. Read the room. It's basically just like training for the hammer. Boom. I'm glad they only made it one because I figured, oh, man, when you're grown up, they're going to make it more. No, no. They made it one. They made it one. Look at that shortcut. All right, so we're going to come back into this room here since we did this. And if I remember right, there should be a switch over there. There is. Would you look at that? We're going to hit this. Let this guy out. And I do believe he has a key. Uh, it took me such a long time to figure this out when I was a kid. Like, seriously. Guys. Uh, so many people. All right, so now that we got the hammer, we can do that. Which drops this down. Which drops this down all the way back here. But 
you might be thinking to yourself, wait a second, we're missing the key. And you would be correct, we are. We do not have the boss key currently. Uh, that was always so satisfying. It's always so satisfying to do that. Always. You can flip those guys over with a hammer, which is so satisfying. Like I said, this hammer has so many uses. Nice. Uh, and the spin. You gotta love this spin. If I could do it right now, like my headphone, I didn't have headphones in, I would totally spin. Totally. Later, nerd. What? Except this time, we have the hammer. Yeah. Enough. I haven't been able to do that in years, but it's fun to do. It's a little challenge. I've seen speedrunners do it as well, so pull them out as soon as possible. I'm um, buddy. Step on the wall there. There. Come on. You're mine, buddy. You're mine. Satisfying to hit him. Boom. Ooh, and he dropped some bombs this time. Interesting. Very inter interesting. Yeah, I don't think we ever got the map, which isn't really an issue, but at the same time, it's like, ha <laughs> I actually forgot how close we were. We were actually relatively close. All right, guys, here we go. So, let's do it. Excuse me, princess. Oh, uh, this is a very, very difficult battle, especially on a three heart run. You have to be perfect when it comes down to everything. Um, and that is actually uh, what we have to do. Especially at the last hit. When you get down to the last, like the last time you have to hit him with the hammer, it is like you have to be fast when it comes to that. So here we go, guys. We can do this. We can do this. Relatively easy at first. A lot easier the first couple hits. I, I, I do believe it's six, if I remember right. So this time it's two. Watch out because that swipe hurts. That swipe hurts a lot. Nope, right there. I was actually very surprised by that, to be honest. That surprised me. This last hit is hard. One, two, three, four. Bam. Bam. And that's how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. He's gonna freak out here. Link's face. <laughs> uh, don't you dare try to give me that heart. Don't you dare. We're going right into the light, buddy. Right into the light. This is a three heart run. You ain't gonna ruin it game by setting that heart right in front of me. Did you see that? Did you see that? They were right. They were going to like force me to get the heart. No, I knew they wouldn't. Uh, I actually liked this scene as a kid. Um, really hit home. I was like, whoa. And it's just like, all the evil's gone. No more evil.
Yes. Oh, 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 oh. There he is. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. Thank you on the behalf of the entire Goron race. You've turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. Look at that smile. By the way, I, the wild Dr Dronia, turned out to be the great stage of fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal evil here. Hey, brother, take this. This is the medallion that comes with the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. He just always got to add an extra, like, extra thing to it. And my friendship. It's like, dude, chill, man. Chill. Just chill. Bring it down about three notches, man. You don't have to try so hard. You received the fire medallion. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We received the fire medallion. Don't forget, you and I are now true brothers. Bam. And bam. Wow. Wow. What a action-packed episode. Um, there's a lot I'm going to have to cut out and edit. And actually, this was going to be two episodes. But I think I'm just going to make it one. Just one big old episode. Um, and I'll, I'll cut it all together uh, regardless. But anyway... Here we are, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. Next time, we will start off on our next adventure.